back to the shed. What the hell are you doing? Hey, you. Give me those goggles. <laughs> Check the children. Thanks a lot. Dr. Savini, they're here. Okay, send them in, Mr. Voorhees. Mr. Craven. Mr. Cooper. Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. All right, fill us in. One of our most dangerous inmates has escaped from Ward 3, which, as you know, has our tightest security. In the process, he killed two of our guards. His name? His name is Brian Labosco, and his is the most bizarre case I've, I've ever encountered in all my years here. In, uh, in 1975, he, he killed a young uh, a biker. His name was uh, My Myers, Michael Myers, and uh, his motive, there was none. It seems that this murder was prompted by years of encouragement by his parents. You mean they wanted him to kill? Yeah, it seems so. They felt that Brian was... was um, was possessed by a demon that they themselves had um, had spawned in the boy. Whatever happened to the parents? Well, we don't know. It seems that they disappeared right after the murder was committed, and ever since the murder, Brian was has been here until now. Uh, this this Brian is a human monster, and we've seen that from what he's done to the other inmates. It's horrid. So uh, this this deviant. Stevie, it must be brought back here. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure we'll have more than a few cadavers to deal with. Okay. Well, uh... What's this shit? Check it out. This out. Out, now. Get the heck out of here. Oh, music. Oh, this is music? Give me a listen, if you want to hang out with us, you don't listen to this fat boy stuff. Because we don't go around go like this and this. You want to hang out with us, you listen to all music, understand? Uh, fine. I don't want to hear it. This right. is music, that is 100 mile an hour garbage. And this is some real music. Yeah. You're not excused. All right, after that, my audition. All right, how's your audition? And what audition are you talking about? I went and I tried out for a movie. Oh! All right, yeah. so I go up to the director guy and I said, I'm an actor, I'm not going to play some shit zombies. Hey, Doug, check this out. Check him out. <laughs> hey, what the heck is this? It's not Halloween. What the heck is this shit? Oh, what's the mask? Give me the mask.
dead. We have to ask you a few questions. Yeah, I heard about this place that was taping, and I figured you'd be the, the best place to fall. Like, uh, have you seen any suspicious looking characters? Yeah, I saw this tall guy with a black ski mask and the clothes. I didn't think much of it at the time. Must be Brian. Got, Got to be. Yeah. Am I going to be on TV? I hope Dr. Savini doesn't mind us going through his things. Yeah. What the hell does he have? Look at this, guys. Satanism and witchcraft. Exorcism and 12 easy lessons. Satanism and you. I'm okay. You're possessed by Satan. And, of course, demonology. You have to have a book like Check this one. You think that That's you, ridiculous. You think Dr. Savini's onto something? Could be. Wait, wait, wait. You guys, listen up. Listen, this is this is the doctor's journal. I dare not tell my superiors. But what I have seen these past these past years is too incredible to be psychological. Brian's disturbance overlaps into the occult. I believe that Brian's parents, Charles and Elizabeth Lobosco, were Satanists and invested an innocent child with an ancient demon. When he killed a biker Myers years ago, he was doing what the demon inside of him forced him to do. His escape means a satanic spree of destruction that must be stopped. At this time, I fear for my own life. Guys, look at this over here. He's plotting out all the killings. This is the handball incident where the kid was killed. Over here is where the kid was killed under the car. Oh, this supposed to be the pentagram of the decapitation. Yeah, right there. That's where Wait, it happened. So this is... The fourth and the fifth. So Dr. Savini must have been on to something. Yeah, we gotta go over to the fourth point and, you know, save the next person or whatever. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the fifth. Come on. Alright, you're safe. Hey, Dr.